I'm Melissa Przinsky, a research scientist and laboratory supervisor with the New York State Department of Health, Bureau of Communicable Disease Control, Vector Ecology Lab. I work as part of a team of New York State Department of Health research scientists and technicians to collect tick populations across New York State on publicly accessible lands. Every year, we head out to about 100 different locations and we test over 8,000 ticks. Our standardized sampling involves brushing a one meter by one meter square of fabric against the vegetation and leaves along the sides of hiking trails where ticks are most likely to be found. When we flip the flag over, we look for ticks and when we find them, we transfer them to a vial of alcohol to preserve them for testing at the laboratory. Part of the work that we do focuses on genetic research that involves the ticks and the pathogens that they carry and with our collaborators at the University of Pennsylvania, the State University of New York at Albany, and other research institutions, we've been able to look at the DNA changes in the ticks over time and chart their migration across New York State, and that has helped us more reliably predict where populations will show up and spread to in the future. The information on tick populations and infectivity rates that we gain through tick surveillance, we share with our partnering agencies at the state and with local health departments, as well as medical practitioners across the state. What we've learned through our research is that ticks can be virtually anywhere, and these signs are a reminder to take precautions to avoid tick-borne illness.